Krishna. This is a video for Distances to the Planets, which is posted on Vedic Cosmology, Decoding the Fifth Canto, and Vedic Cosmology, Decoding the Fifth Canto of Srimad Bhagavatam sites. My spiritual master, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada asked his disciples to study the fifth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam and try to understand the Vedic cosmology. So we're making some attempt to do that and give you some idea in this video of what we're working with. <clears throat> we begin with the shells that cover the universe. They are earth, water, fire, air, ether, mind, intelligence, and ego. I've not drawn them here in the way that they actually are because I <laughs> it is impossible. They, they expand so much that it's not possible. The first layer is 10 billion miles wide, and the next one is 10 times that, and the next is 10 times that preceding one. And this continues, they continue expanding all the way out to the highest level uh, shell, and beyond that is the causal ocean where Mahavishnu is breathing out the universes. We can calculate the distance in this way. The first shell is 10 times, is 10 billion miles. The second is 10 times 10 billion. We can count up just the tens, and that's 36 of them. So 36 times 10 billion times two, because the shell goes all the way around the universe. Uh, and times pi, which this is formula for circumference. Then, of course, we have to add in the universe, which is 200 billion miles from center to the first shell, and that's times 2 times pi, and we add them together, and we get 2,274,509,081,900 miles circumference of the shell. This universe is said to be the smallest universe. <clears throat> Next we come to the Bhumandala. Now I've drawn the Bhumandala as flat. It's not actually flat. According to Surya Siddhanta, it is like an upside down bowl. And you'll notice that I have many stars drawn here. In between the Earth, this Earth, and this Earth, called Bhumandala, and our Earth planet, in between there are many millions of stars. All the stars, the Sun, Moon, Mars, and these millions of stars here, and the millions of stars everywhere, they're all circling in this universe like this. <clears throat> the information on the shells comes from chapter 5, text 38 and 42, also Srimad Bhagavatam, 3rd canto, 26th chapter, 52nd verse. Then we have the Loka Loka mountain, which extends from the bottom of the universe up to the top. Here there may be millions of planets. Uh, whether the Loka Loka mountain turns around the universe, I do not know. Then there is a crack in the universe, which extends all the way through the shells into the causal ocean. And from there, water is pouring through. It's called the Ganga, which is distributed all over the universe. 
That information about the Ganga we find in chapter 2 of the fifth canto. Now we want to, this is the primary focus of this video, is that we're going to try to show how mathematics, just like we calculated this, uh, the local local mountain also has a calculation. Uh, Bumandala has calculation. Here is the golden land surrounds Bumandala, and then the local loka. And everything has a calculation. Uh, how many miles it extends. But the primary focus of this video is to show. from an example of the sun, how Vedic calculation is done. We are looking here from the side of the universe in. If we were to look from the top of the universe, from Dhruva Loka down, the universe would look more like this. <clears throat> here we have Jambu Dweep, the central island of Bumandala and then an ocean, and another island, Plaksha Dweep, and an ocean, another island, Somali Dweep, seven islands, seven oceans. So we'll end part one here, and we'll take this up in part two.